Scorpio and welcome to February 2018 and in February 2018 you are going to have a very much um, a very big focus on your emotions your home your sense of whether you feel emotionally safe at home whether you feel emotionally safe and secure within yourself whether you've been looking after yourself um, whether you feel it's okay to look after yourself now um, and I'm, I heard also home is where the heart is when I was thinking about this earlier and making some notes I heard home is where the heart is so do you know yet have you figured out yet where yours is where your heart is where you really want to be where you really feel safe and secure where you feel really really good and you're releasing old worn out ideas and restrictions in your career so that you can find um, so that you can find what you really really need in order to feel emotionally safe so there is a connection between home and security and your career so you're going to need to let go of some things in your career maybe let go of some status symbols even because the 10th house can be about status and how the world sees you whereas the fourth house is very much about what's actually going on inside you and who you really feel you are so that's where the sun is shining on what you really feel what it really takes to make you feel good about yourself and you might find some of the things that you thought you needed to feel good about yourself don't really make you feel good about yourself at all and maybe it's other things, simpler things, more beautiful, things that are beautiful in a different way, you know, like maybe it's not opulent surroundings that feed your soul, maybe it's simple surroundings like the beach, maybe you just want to put your feet in the water, you know, maybe you don't need to see a palace all around you, it's that kind of energy, it's that kind of feeling Scorpio, a shift in focus, a shift in priority and just feeling like you really, really, really want to be good to yourself and take care of yourself and nurture yourself and your heart and let people who love you come closer to you and, and have those people around you and release anything that feels like it's not for real, you know? Anything that feels like it was just a status symbol or just a pretense or just something for show for the world on the world stage. It's about you, the inner you, the real you now. That's what you're focusing on. So, and that's how you're going to find happiness in February. And that's what's going to change for you this year, that you're going to get really clear about what it takes to make you happy and feel uh, emotionally secure. Secure. So uh, let's see. Looking at the four weeks in February, and um, we're going to also do that looking with the Archangel Oracle. Okay. So, the first week in February, which is pretty much where we are by the time I post these, you are. Oh, that's interesting. So you've got balance and all is well. So you're coming to a place of balance. You're wanting to balance um, within yourself. You're wanting to find balance within yourself and around you. Pretty much, you know, what we said at the beginning, that you're wanting to find that inner harmony. You're wanting to find that peace. You're wanting to even find self-healing after a time of some ups and downs. You're wanting to really feel that you have control over all aspects and elements of your life. Your emotions feel good, you feel financially stable, you feel creative and purposeful and you feel as if you have the strength and the energy to do everything that you need to do and that you are you know, doing the right thing, so to speak. You want to feel as if you have all, all the balls in the air, all the plates on the sticks, you know, everything just working perfectly and you feel good within yourself and supported. And that is what you're going to start coming into in February. Like you finally figured out what makes you tick. It's like that. And all is well. You've got the card uh, of um, Archangel Jeremiah in the, uh, from the Archangel's deck. And it says, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings, which you will soon understand. So if you have to change things or have a shift in priorities, understand that anything that changes in the first week or so of February is setting the tone 
for the rest of the month possibly the rest of the year because what it's doing is it's just allowing you to get more of that balance more of that self-awareness and more of that ultimately more of that emotional sense of peace and satisfaction and tranquility within you but in a way that you can sustain it and that's what you really want been enough ups and downs second week oh that's fantastic Second week, there will be some kind of a victory, something that you've been waiting for, something that you've had to really trust spirit for. You've had to really tune in and allow yourself to be guided. You're going to feel that guidance even more now. You're being very strongly guided spiritually, very in touch with the crown chakra, very connected to the divine. You must have been doing some meditation or doing something that connects you and you are going to have a victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So maybe you've been praying, maybe you've been chanting, maybe you've been just petitioning for this change to happen. So in the second week, something happens or you get news that something may be about to happen or will unfold nicely in the year. Because it, it feels as if it, this continues to unravel, you know, reveal itself um, for longer than February. But it's like you get some news in the second week, which is great. Okay. The third week, wow. Okay. Recognition and rewards. So it could be that you get um, someone giving you a back, pat on the back and saying, okay, I can see now what your value is. I get it now. I understand why you asked for what you did. So there you go. I'm sorry. We didn't acknowledge you sooner. We didn't realise how valuable you were. But thank you so much for what you've done. It's that kind of energy. So it's something where, you know, even though you're not going after those status things at the moment, you're releasing anything that's that's not real in that sense. You've been trusting your heart, you've been very much working from your heart, and somehow that has given you the recognition. So, whereas if you'd been pushing to get the recognition from a place of that wasn't truthful, it might not have come. But you've trusted, you've followed your heart, and you've done the best work that you could possibly do from the heart for the right reasons, you know, for the reasons that that align with who you're becoming, which is someone who works from the heart, and you will get that recognition. We've got the card of Archangel Metatron to do with chakra clearing, and it says, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So remember to keep your heart open. If you've been working with a very open heart and, and you are um, getting signs that you're moving in the right direction, continue to keep your heart open, but work with the angels and ask for help with clearing your chakras. If you go into environments that don't always feel great or you work closely with people as, you know, in a in a close intimate setting like as a healer or as a teacher or as a counselor um and you start you know if you're working with people with trauma or anything like that at all just remember that you need to clear your energies when you leave when you walk away this feels very much like it's um one for healers and, and intuitive but it's for everyone really make sure that you're protecting your energy make sure that you're um, closing down and clearing your uh, chakras when you move away. Now, interesting that you've got counsellor at the end. So there are some counsellors here, for sure. And um, I know that's not going to apply to any to everyone, but um, some spreads are geared towards particular groups of people who need to get a message that month. And that's what it feels like, that there's a lot here for people who have been tested in a sense, in terms of, you know, really working in, te in integrity, working with their hearts, keeping the faith, staying hopeful about that working in their favour, because it's all about your emotional well-being. So it has to be about you doing work that fulfils you, doesn't it? So you are either at a point of finally receiving the green light that you've done made the right choices recently or you are about to make those choices and go on that path 
or for some of you it will be that you see a counsellor because but I'm not seeing stuff about heartbreak I'm seeing stuff about having to emotionally rebalance yourself so if there has been any kind of heartache or loss or any kind of change um, but this is all so hopeful so it looks as if a lot of you are actually doing the counselling so just remember to keep your um, uh, keep all of your knowledge and your abilities available to those who come to you because you are now in a better position to help, a better position to serve and that will continue to increase throughout the year that you will find that your own emotional stability increases, that your financial stability increases, that you begin to feel settled within your work and, and get the recognition. This isn't necessarily all happening in February, this could roll out over the next few months and therefore you will feel that you have more to give to others this is such a beautiful card just that hope that sunshine just that sense of everything balancing and working out beautifully for some of you it is going to be a move abroad it's going to be to a nicer climate or nicer people nicer environment warmth friendly sunny kindness gentleness and you know again that comes back to home is where the heart is and um you know your time has come now Scorpio to feel really really good about everything that you've achieved about this journey that you've been on in this lifetime about everything that you've given everything that you still have yet to give and you know and all the beautiful rewards coming from you just showing up and being you um, and offering your heart every day you know even those day-to-day -day moments that no one sees so I'm so happy for you. Enjoy, celebrate and let me know. Let me know what's happening. And um, yeah, come back to me if you'd like any further guidance and book a reading. And um, otherwise, I'm sure I will be in touch with you somehow, some way. And have a wonderful February and enjoy the rest of your year. Take care. Bye.